Hey folks, it's Son of Beast here. Um, just wanted to give you all, it is my birthday. I am officially 22. I can't even believe it's like already going up to a next age. And to tell you that, it's already been going to be a great day so far. And I am, have nothing else to say about that. But it is like turned to be a newer age and a little bit different tone. So I might be changing a little bit. So it can be a little bit, a little difficult way. But as you may already know, it's um, it's always exciting to turn up in next age. So <laughs> you can't even just explain that you're in an adult life. So you gotta you gotta go with the figure. You just can't go back to being a kid anymore. You just gotta keep going with the age. So at that point, I hope that everyone's enjoying your uh, the playoffs of the game. Um, it's still gonna be continuing, but this is the last part of the Inanimate Insanity Supercut. So I definitely just wanted to save it till. My birthday for the last final episodes so thank you guys for waiting patiently and as for being moment this is it the last one is 16 through 19 for the anime insanity supercut and for that being said is let's see how it goes in the meantime i'm definitely out of here and i'll be seeing you all again very soon and i can't wait for the bfdi anime insanity tour so i'll be doing that video here on the other side pretty soon so with that let's get into this final supercut starts now and I will be saying happy birthday to Son of B, so thanks for my for my appreciation. And I can't even appreciate to all of you. You're the best. Thank you. Give it all to you guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Let's get to the super cut. Today is the day after the Fright Night, so I now have to conduct myself to just watch this video. And I finally got to the part where it's elimination time. So as I noticed earlier before, there was a bake-off that I can recall from, from the BFDI TPIT episode number 6. This was used to be almost the same thing as it was this one. But episode 16 used to be a lot much different. This one used to be called the Bluish Bake-Off Challenge. And I have never noticed what it's all about. So, as I mentioned here before, I love baking, and this is what my favorite is. The homemade brownies. Now, I know I love making this one here as a dessert, but for my cooking experience, it's going to take a lot of the difficult challenges to do for my real lifetime. But in this word, this might be a tough range that I have to know the ingredients of the recipe from the website. It's a good way to use this one to keep here for as my uh, work study. But as you may have always noticed, this is what the challenge usually looks like. Even if you've seen on the Food Network series, from dessert of making things and definitely some food to cook up, well, it's pretty different and it's not really just the same thing as you've seen here on episode number 7, the Mile High Cake. Well, I've never seen anything like Mile High Pie that gets way high and expected. Whoa. Well, I'm not eating that whole thing. I could definitely say from the shorts, I mean, I never know anything about that. When Adam used to know how to make some uh, mile high pie, I never seen what the uh, ice creams has come up like that. Like it's a stack of sandwich. If I could bake one, I may not be doing it at all the time because it's very that difficult for me. I don't think it's never gonna happen. Because at that point, it's really gonna be turned out like it's bad. Today I'm gonna make the Mile High Pie from Inanimate Insanity. Start by running to the grocery store and getting this stuff. First, I'm gonna empty all three tubs of ice cream into these rectangular tins, smooth out the top, and freeze overnight. Day two, I'm gonna take them all out, cut each into four equal squares that look something like this, and freeze overnight again. Day three, it's time for the crust. Start by combining Oreos and melted butter in a blender and pulsing till sand-like. Empty into a square container, press firmly into a dense layer, and freeze overnight. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to keep stacking that sticky stuff. So this is our strawberry, we've got two other containers for both of the flavors. First step, we gotta get the crust, top with syrup. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. All right. Let's keep it going. Uh, Final layer. Strawberry. Last chocolate. chocolate. Moment we've all been waiting for. Wow. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> 
dig in. Woo! Success. <laughs> so now I can hear what's going on. So Blueberry got disqualified from the cook-off, and I just noticed before, it looks like that Balloon and Nickel are going to stick up those two as a dynamic duo to head and rally into the final four. So that might be the only thing I might be looking at. So Cabby was concerning, what if we take out one dynamic duo and then keep the rest of it? Well, you may never know, I guess, because... It's definitely what everyone is concerning of. Now, for this next reaction of the elimination, there's only five competitors out. They're ready to take on for the next immunity. While well, the immunity was balloon to make made that one a good strength. I might be saying, if the next one goes with nickel by, I'm just gonna have to say that nickel's gonna tell me like, you keep here for balloon. You have only one more competitor, and I should dare you go for my best friend of a dynamic duo. Just chill out, you can do it. Well, it's because of what it is. I can definitely just go right to Balloon because I, I, now, I now believe her in this season. But in season one, I don't think I really know that because of how she cursed at Pickle. Well, that was basically the last two seasons. Forget what I was going to say. Please don't uh, comply about me, okay? So, because we're on this season. Now I know she's definitely trying to treat the right way. I mean, not going out of the way that badly. When I notice, and there was a, some special guests, could it be Michael or would it be Carrie to go with that? Because I know Inflated Balloon turned out to be like Snowball, and the other one turned to be like Fiery, the bold guy, like it's a caveman monster. Well, I'll have to look at the credits up here after I finish this. But right now, let's go ahead and get started. I'm about to react to this right now. Elimination time! Oh, a little bit dumb, like it's a bass drum. Now it starts going to go down towards in between the characters of the contestants. The votes are right here. I'm thinking that Balloon got the most votes out of it in between of Cabby. These two are going to be a little bit of a clutch tying run to get into the final four, while the other two in between of Nickel and Silver Spoon are going to get very caught off guard. So I'm thinking it looks like less people chose Silver Spoon, and I chose Nickel. Well, he might be getting into the final four. That might be my prediction, but I want him to get in. Yeah, because of that point, it's going to happen. We've got to find out what it is about. Okay, I just found it out. It's, I was right, because there's 15 people choosing, 15% of the people chose Nickel, which is basically me. Most of the people chose Balloon, because of Ben Cross. He's definitely really well. But I want to see him for the next meeting, because i never seen Ben Cross and he was not here for the BFDI and MA Sandy Experience show. I was so sad because I, I just thought if Brent Cross would be around. But it seemed like Adam hasn't really uh, paid much attention at that point. i thinking he might be, he was not here. So I felt sad for him. I want to see him for the next meeting um, if I can go back a couple years later for as of the uh, 20. 33 or more. I'm not going to say it now because <laughs> you don't want to know. Cabby had a 21 percentage right here because uh, on the top, that could be a choice. Second person to get clutch in for the final four. And Silver Spoon, I think 10 percent is going to be at least a gone experience right now. It's not saying because most people really want the most contestant to leave the game. That doesn't mean that. It only means less people. Just try to know that, everyone. But hey, listen up, Jersey people. You better subscribe to Adam Katz of Animation Epic. He's getting close right now to 1,500 subscribers. He has to get there that far. And if he makes it, he will dress up as Steve Cobbs, like this picture here. Please, guys, I want you all to go ahead and click the subscribe button here. That way, Adam will tell everyone a thank you. That's all I have. Oh, and don't mind those videos here. They're, they're not basically for me, but I, this is the only thing important. 
And yes, I did react to the last episode anyway, so now it's the time to do it. After this. Then that. Yeah, so I didn't anticipate having the ceremony so soon. The challenge was supposed to last considerably longer. But the show must go on. I'll read the votes. Well, so now the show goes on because now this is what happens. And Blueberry, I felt a little bit disappointed about that. I don't know, maybe it might be a Merry Christmas or a Black Friday special to get the money. First vote, Blueberry. Hmm. Why me? I don't know! Because of you! You were on here the last time! First episode, third episode, then the sixth episode. Now, this really has to cut off things, guard, that it does turn out to you like it was going to be very close in between of episode number 10, then 15. Now this is definitely going to be you. I don't know what to do with you. Maybe I should definitely try to... Um, just swip it off. I don't know if Blueberry will ever happen. If he gets in the final four, okay, I'll give him another chance. Is this going to be a tie in between of Nickel and Blueberry? Nickel. Of course. Two votes, Nickel. One vote left. So I'm guessing this is going to be a goodbye to Nickel. Um, I'm sorry if I do this, but maybe on Black Friday deals, I think I will exchange you to change it to bal balloon. So I might guess because I know that that Nickel is going to give me a saying that hey, just go for balloon. You've got this idea. I know you can handle this. Okay, and I understand it. So, will this be the end for Nickel to take the run with a dynamic duo? The 16 contestant voted out, and the next member of our jury, Blueberry. Oh no! Wow, I'm shocked right now! So, Blueberry Kaboom! Oh my gosh! So you know that we're caused from episode number one. That was the last thing that happened. So it seemed like that Blueberry was the only victim that happens. He can't stand long. But what would happen now? Let's see what Blueberry says. Whatever. I deserve it. Blueberry, the cookie situation was a complete accident. You didn't know. Oh, it's not the global warming thing. I kind of liked combusting. I meant to push everyone away to finally achieve my victory, but it left me with nothing. What do you mean left with nothing? I always give you a second chance to do this, but now you were saying that most people were concerning about you, Blue Blueberry. You were kind of like a victim. And you just said you want to keep running until the lights go out. But I thought this was a wild walk-off run, and this was a mile long. And you can basically tell I ran track because this was a long thing I have to run for, for the run. Like it's a marathon. And let me tell you, my legs get stumbled all the time. But why, Blueberry? You've always done great! After you rejoined the game, you've won the challenge. But now, you seemingly like you want to go. And it seemed like that Silver Spoon's not going to go home at that point because now it's basically it. Because Blueberry, you're the only one that was out. And you were on the dark side. Why wouldn't you whip Balloon and Nickel? What's the problem with you? You have no idea what's going on? Oh, give me a break. I don't know what to do with this guy. Well, this is definitely very shocking. And I must tell... It's all eyes on Blueberry that betrayed him. But this is like the definite, the worst idea. I have no idea what's the solution. Man, oh man, what a tough game. Well, you thought you had to to succeed. I think we can all understand that. But you don't need to force everyone away to win in the end. Yeah, dude, just be nicer to people. 
Let's not lie to ourselves. That's yeah, let's not lie to ourselves. Thank you, Nickel. It's not gonna happen, but just know I'm rooting for you all. Oh, thank you, Blueberry, and by the time you did it again, it was the same camera angle. And, and yeah, I know this was gonna definitely happen, because he gives a good thumbs up. Let's not lie to ourselves. That's not gonna happen, but just know I'm rooting for you all. And this is why he gives a thumbs up to everyone. So, yep, that's definitely a good thing to give you support, because now he he's definitely making comments out of him. He has his expressional feelings. It's the thing that I definitely know for. Well, there are no last words, actually. Uh, that might be his last word, so yeah. Bye-bye, Blueberry. And while an entire island may have crumbled to bits in its destructive place, the understanding amongst our final four has never been stronger. Can it hold up now with nowhere left to hide? Find out next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Yes, I'm closing this off right now. And let me go ahead and look at the credits, and this is what the Sun of Beast Incorporation looks like. Okay. Thank you. Now, what's the credit thing going to be? Let's see if it's uh, Michael or Carrie, because I'm not sure who was this, was there two guys, but let's find out. And it's revealed! Tyler known Michael Hong from Jack and Jellyby. Yep, uh, thanks so much. And I can definitely say what it is so ever. Um, it was the best thing that Tyler never noticed that he was in the cave right along from it. And yes, also played as Fiery as well. And either other contestants from the BFDI TPOT. So I guess that is definitely what Michael Hong has. You done great. Alright everybody, I guess I'm gonna head out now. Thank you so much for watching. As well as always, peace out everyone for a while as the Anime Sandy Invitational Reaction Dial. Son of Beast is out of here! See you guys next time. Bye bye! So I know it's been a long day of bitches, but I had one more for you. Well, here they are. These are your final four contestants that are here with us. Sorry, that was my echo notification. But let's go back to this anyway. Final four contestants are right down here below, as we see right in each between of those two. Um, especially when I was configuring what it is about. So the name of the title is The Show Must Go On. But, um... As it goes longer and longer, it seemed like that there is nothing to go up with their challenge idea with the final four contestants, so it seemed like that it was turned to be an art failure as I mentioned it before. But all that art process is just not really what I meant. So the last thing was not really consuming of what I was thinking it because it would almost be a completely uh, total knockoff from the BFB29 of Sauce. What does that mean? Well, it means save our show. Yes, um, I thinking they, they were going to try to name save our show, just like uh, BFB29 as I did react to this. But unfortunately, they don't want to make this one the same thing. So they decided to do is they wanted to change this up and then they wanted to get right into the point. Anyway, as you may already noticed here before, the volts are totally on the right side of my screen. So as you can tell, that this was really the tough one that we were all calling for. Balloon had the most votes, and she, the cabbie is right behind it with only just like 50% chance of winning. While Nickel only had 15, and I'm thinking Silver Spoon may be the next one to be eliminated. But it seemed like nobody had won the immunity, so yeah, I guess that was a shame. But expected that it was very tough to clarify what it is now. So as you can't really tell what is going on, this is really the tough thing I was really uh, noticing for. These two are the dynamic duos on my right. Right over here, Balloon and Nickel. And then the two fan duos that we were seeing that, as I saw them before. Justin Chapman and Yarrow Girl. What is it again? 
Okay, let's see. Uh, no, that's Kate Brunson. And there it is. Right over there. That's the one that you're over here where the cabbie is. And that was Casey. Yep, that was the one that she played as cabbie. So, yep, that's the one. But anyway, back to this. This is what I uh, recently called it before in between of the two dynamic duos. Right between the fans versus favorites from last season. That This is definitely what happens here before. That they remembered it back then from season one on the right hand of a corner of Nickel and Balloon. And then the other side on the left is Cabby and Silver Spoon, which they got here on the start of a season of an MSA Invitational. But this is where that I might have to find the appearance of what's going on. So it's right in between of those two over here on my right side, Ben Cross and Adam Katz for sure. And the left over here, Casey and Justin, also played as a, one of the characters here. So I felt like there was no immunity winner. Well, that's pretty bad luck anyway. So nobody received the immunity cookie, so that's like a too bad for you. So whatever this happens now, I guess it's only coming down to the last elimination before the season finale of the in the Anime Insanity Invitational, which is number 18. So I guess I have to stick around for next year to get right into this in 2024. Because at that point, this is where it ends off here in this year of the final four. And then the final three will be happening like on the next two months in February. That will be the next one to keep an eyes on. While Jack and Jellyfy will release here for BFDI on one month ahead. Um, this will be just to take a little break. And then the last thing will be in between of those guys. So... I guess it's one female versus three males of the contestants, except that Balloon talks as like a, on a helium voice. That considers it be a male. So yeah, I might be right. Anyway, as you may already notice before, this is what happens in each episode that happened last. So episode 10 was the rejoin of Cabby that was used to receive the immunity cookie after winning what the spelling of transformation and then it turned it over to Silver Spoon like it's mine now it's mine but in that case it doesn't work like that not at all and then the next thing in episode 11 it was Nickel that only won once with the immunity cookie after the win of the pesty buddies of the friendly pet battle yeah that was a part of the uh, pet ring that was used to be in between the matches. This is Nikki here. OMG, son of beast forgot about episode 12 of the inanimate insanity. It was Bo, now known as Bot. Which she won the immunity of home is where the heart is. And the creative picture on paper. Try to keep that in mind when you know each contestant. Viewers. And then episode number 13 was Balloon that won the immunity of friend or froze. That was the part of episode number 13 I get to remember that. Then episode 14 was back to Cabby, and 15 was the winner for Blueberry. But now, Blueberry's gone, episode 16 deserves it to Balloon. So now, I guess, that this is where it comes down to the end of the final four. Because I know one of them is going home. That's what happens most. I'll show the list again. Here it is. Balloon had most votes, and I can't really tell if she's going to stay safe, actually. Or Cabby, of course she, and he for a Balloon to stay safe. I might be thinking that this might be the prediction in between the, those three, Nickel, Balloon, and Cabby. But I'm not sure if this is going to definitely happen right in between from there. Well, here's the case. These two over here of Balloon and Nickel on my right, you can tell that these are the only ones that are on the same team. And they were definitely part of Team Sinkers. They definitely know they were doing it the right way. But I have a funny feeling that it may be a tough one 
if this won't be another double elimination, just like last season, they both are out. But I don't know what will happen. If this does happen now, I don't think it will be. While the other two over here, it doesn't really matter. One from Team Pinkers and one from Team Thinkers. Yes, that's definitely what it is now, so I guess, well, not pretty sure what it is now. But let's find out what happens here. This time there won't be a no immunity winner because Ying Yang's gone. And now this is where it comes down to here. Okay, so it looks like it's the, the time is now on. So without further ado, let's go. I'm reacting this now and find out who will be the next one to leave. I understand we may have done some irreparable damage to how seriously we take the concepts of episodes and eliminations. But, like, try to pretend we didn't as I read the votes. First vote, Captain. Alright, so I guess it might be the end for nothing because I know what happens now. So, yeah, it's down in between, so yeah, Balloon won't count that because, you know, the last thing was happened before. It used to be the winner as also of episode number 16, the last thing that happened in common. So I guess this, this is going to be a scary one from the bottom three, and I can't tell what's going to happen now. So it looks like one of them will have to leave. I have a bad feeling that I'm thinking that Nickel might be the last one, so that was four chance I had. So yeah, I know it was bad enough for me because that first thing happened in the first episode, then the second thing happened in the third episode, then the third was episode number six, and finally the 14th episode, which was my fourth chance. So yes, I'm out of luck, so... I can't just make a decision to go with what in the world am I supposed to do? I might lose my my all my prize money for stuff because I can't just really say what is going to happen right now because I just can't say that this is going to be the end for all. So, hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to swap it up and then go with Balloon if Nickel is eliminated. Just that case for a sidetrack, because I know a lot of people of you were saying you love Balloon so much, so now I'm going to start believing him for Balloon, because now I do understand for this season. Well, last two seasons, it didn't plan out really well, so yeah, forget about that. I guess this season is definitely better now. So yeah, I don't care about that, like I said before. Don't, don't give me complaints about anything, okay? In the meantime, I'm guessing my final prediction is maybe Merry Christmas, Nickel. I'm going to use that as a cash prize. So, yeah, I think that's my final answer. So, let's see what happens right now because I really wanted to know it is the same. So, well, let's find out what happens. Here we go. The last one is down to the line. 17 contestants voted out and the final member of our jury. Nickel. Of course, yeah, I know. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Nickel. So I guess I know it was a bad thing, I must tell you. Because now I start believing on Balloon. It is a tough thing to say about this, and you know, this was not very easy enough to try to win a whole thing. And I'm going to say that this is really that tough to say about you. I know I was being mad at you in episode number 8 to try to stop on Clover. And also, I was going to save you from episode number 14. So, now the time is over. That was my fourth chance. So yeah, I have no more left. So that was it. Now I'm swapping over to Balloon because, you know how I have a good feeling from the best relationships in between. But I must go with the answer in the questions in the comment box uh, for the next exit interview because 
It may be a tough one, but I can't just say this. Are these two best friends in between? Because I'm really not even sure what are they up to for some reason. It's very really tough what I can honestly say about this. So, yeah, I was pretty sad to say I think it's a good place to step into the Final Four. So, yeah, that's definitely my uh, prediction, I would say. So, yeah, I guess now Silver Spoon enters in the Final Three. Yes, that is a better choice because now there are three of them left. One from the captain of Team Sinkers of Balloon, then the Team Pankers of Cabby, and Team Finkers of Silver Spoon. So these are the final three that will push their pursuit and ready to rally in for next year's of the season finale to finish up the whole thing. Yes, that was 1 through 17. Oh my gosh, I've been reacting to this one starting on April 2021. And now, this time, December 2023. That is like, oh my gosh. I mean, how many reactions have I done? Which was the best thing that I really enjoyed? Well, I gotta say now, Nickel, I gotta tell you one more thing before you get back in there. I wanna tell you everything about it. You played great, very hard, and I'm gonna tell you now, you've done the best for yourself. And that's what happens most of the time. Because that is the perfect way I was doing it for you to keep you as a competitor. So with that being moment, I know you made it to the final four, but I guess now, it's totally the end. So I bet that it was the best thing in the world that most people are concerning of you. You played great, and all with your accomplishment has been turning out there nice. You behaved well, and you've done everything together in between the two. Nickel, I would say that you've done the best. And I would give a Merry Christmas money to me. You sure do? Yes. I just make, wanted to make that one prediction of you. You say? Well, I wish you were that luck. I now want you to vote for my Bud Balloon. And now you're going to go with him. Because now I'm gone, everybody's going to know about me. You take care of it for yourself. Always. All right. Thanks, Nickel. And I guess that I can earn my salary more for my work. You got a job. Keep going, man. I'm begging you. And I hope you will pay respect to all competitors who are wishing the good luck in the final three. Nickel out. Thanks for thinking about me. Now go for balloon. All right, I will do. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm sorry, Clover, but it's time to go home. You had Silver and Cabby tonight. Everyone connects our games together. If she's willing to work with me, I think voting you out it's the best shot I have at winning. So it looks like that was the one thing. <sighs> Believable. I just don't really say what it is about, but I just can't really say it's like, oh dang it, this is what the worst thing happens to everybody's life who lost no risk to take one here because in season two it was a bad thing to go with double elimination. And now this season is the time to just finish it up and that's why I know it was very tough for them to try to speak them out. Most of you all are Balloon fans so I am swapping you guys over now so I'm on Balloon side. Hooray! Welcome to my side of the Balloon. Nah, I'm just with Balloon. I'm just kidding. So yeah, all that thing is that one quote because I was noticing that it was all that happened and voting you out so that's what the quote does, so I just really felt like, what? what? What's going on now? Well, this is what everyone was really saying that Nickel should be the next one now, because I always know the voting poll is not the choice option. I felt bad because there was like three of them left. 
I can't tell what it is now because I know it is. Well, I didn't spoil it because I was fast forwarding. It's like, no, please do not. Okay, but now it is much better. So that was very tough at the ending last. So now it's a good choice to say goodbye to Nickel. I will always do pay respect to one of your team sinkers. It's a way to finish the line at the end of the run. And we know we forgive you. I mean, you're right. You know, Balloon, typically when you do a blind side, you don't tell the person you're blindsiding. Well, I thought you didn't want me to be fake with you. You know what? I have one thing left to say to you, and this will be in earnest. What? Surely there's little sarcasm in there. No, not a drop. Wish me luck. You hate luck. <laughs> oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, I'll see what you could say. Ready? Go. <clears throat> Thanks, Balloon. I'm so glad we connected. Your social game sure is strong. Well, that is so much better now. I was really thinking the friendship was going to come along right now. Especially to my bros and I guess my gangster and my brother of DJ and all my guys over here. And I can definitely spy it on and say, hey, you always did appreciation. You always had a lot of best of work. This is whatever you do. Accomplish your goals and you made it to 500. Well, it looks like now I wanted to change this because I have a new channel that's coming soon. Well, I don't know when will it be released, guys? So, if you're all saying, what are you going to do with that channel? Well, you will see. Because that might be the only thing I want to level up my skill. And to go with my animation. Maybe on me or anybody. After this season is over, then we can go back to the BFDI TPOT for next year as of 2024. And I expect that this was a fun one. I really enjoyed it. And i guessing that I just did see what was the next elimination going to be in between of teammates and Team Are You OK? So I did hear that. But I'll have to... Like, watch it again. Hold on a minute right now. When I do this, I'll get back into it right now. All right, here they are. So, this is what the votes looks like over here. So, this is what it looks like uh, that I had wrote everything down, what um, Catherine just said. So, this is the most vote that they, they have received for Are You Okay sign. So, Penn got 23. Uh, 18 people had chose Puffball to be the next one to be safe. Especially with Stone Yoshi, he might be pretty happy with uh, Puff Ball. Then 16 votes of the people chose Golf Ball. And then 11 people chose the tie right in between the range of Tennis Ball and Eraser. That's pretty kind of a close call. But I'm guessing the next one out is going to be TV. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that TV is going to be the last one. But unfortunately, there are no announcements to, for Team 8s on the other side, so we don't have anything um, information going on. So that being said, um, this is the only one I have. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's a bestie hug forever, friendship. Always to you, Nicole. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. You don't have to do that anyway. At least if you want to make the wishes, you just always got to go with your luck. You got clovers on. What? Oh. Okay, man. I guess I wish you, your friend, oh, good luck. Yeah, so, thanks, Nickel. And I guess I think you're going to tell everybody that we made that friendship up, and now it's a good day to be for... The rest of the episode of number 18, and that might be the last one to take. Oh. Ha ha ha, I guess now it's like a ha ra moment. I just don't really think I just never did it anyway. So now it's the final three, which you guys will stay tuned for. The last one of episodes of the Inanimated Sandy Invitational. Because there's one more left. And I just really do not believe it that everybody has been concerning of 
Is there going to be a final two? I don't think so, because when it's final uh, three, that means this will be a season finale. One, two, three. You know, like it's season three. One, two, three, go intro. But I guess now it's definitely the end of it. Only one of these three can win the competition. But who? That's a great question. Wish there was a way to learn the answer. Oh, I got it. Find out for the last time on the grand finale of Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Well, that's definitely it now. I guess saying now. I think the show is over. So yeah, the last time, so I'm sad right now. Because that's where it's going to end up for the last three, and then the season will conclude. So that's all you've got now, Mephone. Thanks for everything what you do. I'm really sorry at what I did, but I won't make this one too hard on you. So with that, you've done great, MC. You're the best. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Is it Springy coming back? Oh, good! This is in time! We have one more chance. <gasps> no, no! <laughs> oh my gosh! I think somebody just left it out from season and couple episodes out, I just feel like there was a, somebody in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to have to end it here, so it looks like... Don't tell me that Springy just survived it right now. I could feel like she was bitten by Flora and definitely was understanding like... Oh my god. This was the memory of thing I went to back in July. I knew it. So I couldn't guess. You're going to regret that! I'll just spring right back up to the top! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Huh? No, 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 no! You know how they say there's no ethical consumption under capitalism? I think I might be the exception. <clears throat> kind of needs milk. Take from the fridge. You've earned it. <laughs> so that is it, guys. And for the season of the NBA and NHL, it's coming in. We're about to kick things off. And in the meantime, I'm going to close it right now. We'll see you for the last reaction video of the Anime Insanity Invitational. And I guess it's going to be the last time forever of the Anime Insanity Invitational. Yeah, because everything is about to close. So I know it's turning out that great. I enjoyed this season so much. And here, we can close now with the caption. It does happen like this every time, so here you go. Thanks for watching, and peace out, folks, for a while as the Inanime Sandy Invitational Reaction of the Elimination Dial. See you all next year of the season finale of Triple I. Son of Beast out. Examination time! And I wanted to apologize to you all. This unanimous voting thing wasn't my best idea. Everyone deserves a voice, and will have their own vote. Well, everybody can have the vote, all vote. We want to say is, we're all grouped together, and as for being honest, my group is here. Here they are. Hey, remember the last time when I've always met you? Sniper! You came back! Want to have a vote? Sure. I'll definitely join in the party. <laughs> That's great. Happy to hear that one. For once. Yeah, exactly true. Keep it going, I might. But first, the final three will give their closing remarks. Who wants to get us started? Yes. Um. All right. So I'm going to start things off. And then Gangsta and then... And DJ, and then everybody will have a vote. So we are going to take a little bit of a few minutes, and then we will be all set. All right. Everybody with me? We'll start me and get to you first. And to everybody. 20 minutes later. Okay. It looks like that everybody has been voted. So now... 
It's time for their turn. Let him handle it. I think the way I spoke earlier kinda insulted the arc of poetry. I think it started the poultry, yeah, I guess so. I mean, happy enough to have that. <laughs> I feel like so much of what I've accomplished has been with someone else by my side. But that doesn't mean the game was easy. Alliances take time to nurture. For a while, I felt I'd never figure it all out. But now that I've made it to the top, I can look back down on everything I did to get here. And for the first time, I'm proud of myself. Even when my social game wasn't perfect, it was mine. I feel like a winner no matter what anyone says. But I would still appreciate your vote! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you would. Next? Right. Okay. I thought, after I gave the wrong first impression, I needed to explain these, or hide them. I started drowning in this false perception about them that everyone believed. That I started to believe. But I can't be me without them. So, instead of laying down my sword and becoming what everyone wanted me to be, I marched forward. I helped form a new alliance and stuck with it till I was the last one left. Because nothing's more important than the friends you find out here. So, no more sorries. Just thanks for listening. And last but not least, Silver Spoon. I believe I've already explained myself well enough to the jury, but... There is one out there who I believe I should have listened to better along the way. Now, I won't name names, but even though I'm aware I don't deserve her vote tonight, I hope after I, or whomever, is crowned, we can try again. Ooh, do you think he means me? Well, of course, I guess. Sure, hun. That was wonderful. Schmaltzy, but hey, it's the finale. Yeah, it's definitely for the finale. So in the meantime... I hope you all enjoyed this part of the episode of the 1 through 17 and 18 was two parts, actually. <laughs> I guess it was like no winner, but this is now part two. So I guess that is, is where it comes down to. My groups and I have already made decision making of going with who wants to win. And I felt like it would be great enough if we can have the one of each competitors to vote of who will win for the finale. And now, I wanted to thank everybody who was watching my video for the reactions. The best one is that we get a lot of likes and also a lot of views here on episode 13 and definitely on each other from the meetups in between of the experience show from the Memories of a Lifetime. And of course, it all comes with the best of the supercuts. And yes, the, fin the final part of these supercuts will be at the end of it, so it'll be 16 through 19, of course. But I guess I did have fun, too. Now, what's the jury going to know? After all what the patient of it, here's my choice. My group and I have been waiting for here for a long time, and some people say they want Silver Spoon. Some people say, of my contestants, chose Cabby. And some people, including myself, think of me with Balloon. So that doesn't mean that we all don't have a decision making. We are not going with all the votes anyway. Because at that point, we don't want to leave it alone. So we decided to do is we wanted to switch things up. Few competitors who really watched it support Silver Spoon. The few competitors with me to decide on Cabby and the other competitors with my, um, my guest, of course, and me for Balloon. So I guess the jury is now in for your decision making. And then after that, you know what it's time for. I'm going to start celebrating it for the end of season three. So, yeah, this is the end of the reaction, and I really hope you guys enjoy this part. Um, expecting that the cake and steak part of the BFB wasn't that perfect for me, because I was really scared of what's going to happen. But, well, after the win, it turned out to be, like, you know, a great story, a fun time adventure. And, you know, I really enjoyed it, too. So, yeah, I mean... New level, I'm thinking we're going to 
reach to a new season. So, yeah, I would love to hear that. In the meantime, stop waffling around. It's time for our final thoughts. And I'm so grateful for you all. No matter who wins, you've earned it. Well, I guess they all have earned it. But it all comes down to this. So there's only one that can win the whole thing. Because at that point, I'm not the only one who's going for the win. But I have other characters with me that decided to go for the win. So we love to make the split decisions. <laughs> right? I guess so. Yeah, it's a good idea. Mm hmm You got a good uh, opinion for yourself, anyway. That's great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. But it's not my choice. It's theirs. 15 votes, one winner. Oh, yes. 15 votes and one winner. So, we made our choice. So, that's acceptable, I guess. But in that case, time to figure out who wins. Let's get started. Go ahead and line up outside the Calm Down Cabana. But, Mephone, I counted only 14 jurors. Are you sure, Floor? Uh, you okay? Oh, what? No, that's so unfair. I I'm an assistant. I, I can't- In theory, sure. But in reality, you were not only a contestant, but you also did the hardest thing of all, standing by my side through everything. A good assistant deserves the world. Now go get in that line. Yeah, I think everybody's in that line, so let's take a moment and then we'll get back into that. Alright, everyone here has officially voted for either Balloon, Cabby, or Silver Spoon. So yeah, it's all for you guys. Um, thank you all so much for everybody for here. I uh, definitely have that paper in there, and now it's in the box. So thank you all so much for uh, helping me out, and also for supporting for Animation Epics, part of the episode of the season finale. I can't even agree with you all, and this has been like the best day ever. And with all of your support, I really... I'm grateful for you all. You all did your hard work, and I really appreciate to everybody who is here with us. So, thank you all so much for being here, and I would always say is, you all are the one, and I will crown you all. You all amazing. And Sweet Beast, I love the look of you. It's definitely great, but I guess now, it's time for the winners to make a winner win for all of the season title of the Inanimate Insanity. Invitational, you meant. For the final time this season, I'll read the votes. And yes, this is the final vote because there are no eliminations. This is just a win for win all. All right, let's read the votes. First vote, Cabby. Silver Spoon. Balloon, that's one vote each. Cabin, Silver Spoon. Balloon, two votes each. Cabin, Cabin, that's four votes Cabin, two votes Balloon, two votes Silver Spoon. Balloon, Balloon, that's four votes Cabin, four votes Balloon, two votes Silver Spoon. Cabin. Balloon, that's five votes Balloon, five votes Cabby, three votes left. Balloon, Cabby, we're tied again. Balloon and Cabby both have six votes. The next vote will declare a winner. And so this is it, guys. I would like to thank you all for so much for saying that I really love to take Balloon and Cabby, so it's great for you all. So sorry about that, but... There was no other discussion for Silver Spoon, so that kept it in third place. So, it's for you guys. So, we wanted to thank you all for voting, and now, here's the choice. This will be win for win all. Balloon or Cabby? Your choice. But, I've already chose, you know who, Cabby. But, I'm not going to start complaining about it, okay? 
So, I want this to make a good end of it, alright? In the meantime, let's roll. So long as it's not for Silver Spoon. <laughs> as if. And the winner of an Animate Insanity Invitational is... Happy! What? No. I You're winner, everyone! Woohoo! Winner party! Yeah! Oh wow, you made that party! Well done, everybody. Well, now I decided to go for Cabby, of course. I mean, I felt like, yeah, I mean, in case if you guys don't know about it, but I enjoyed it. Thanks for everybody. I'm going to give that a horn. Thank you. You all are the best. And this means to everybody, one of you, congratulations, you finally chose Cabby. It was great. And I felt very happy enough with Cabby not eliminating the game and felt like I want her back. I finally get to meet her and that was the best thing in my life. Hooray, what did you win, Cabby? <laughs> I don't know, but for now, I just want to remember this feeling. Oh, so Nickel felt like that balloon wants to win. I'm sorry, Nickel. <laughs> you look like you just lost a big game. I was just about to come ask you how you were feeling. Promise. It's okay. You know, when the votes were being read, I realized Mifon forgot about them. What? Well, we gotta tell him. Mine. And I finally care about that the most. Took long enough, right? <laughs> You're telling me. Also, he forgot a vote? Really? That was so lame. Uh, 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 poetic! Uh, yeah, th that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. The inner flame? Restraint. I saw someone took the immunity cookie. You know, I, I really wanted my majestic hero moment, but I felt so unworthy of... The inner flame? Or of... Knowing you don't deserve is the first step towards deserving. So let's celebrate. <laughs> you ready? Oh, so they want to join us for a party. Please, can we have a party here for our celebration for Cabby? Please? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, Yang Yang. Looks like we're suddenly next to each other. Oh, yeah? I didn't notice. <laughs> Yen, we're trying to play it cool! Candle, Yen was very upset by you leaving us in the game and... And did you not care at all about how Yin feels? Of course I did. And that guilt is what drove me to keep my distance. I'm sorry that I made Yin feel bad. As well as anyone else. Yin would also like a giant motorcycle for the emotional damages. Yin would like to speak for himself, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I think those guys are funny here right now. Hey, that's always a big on you if you want that. Golly, congrats! Oh, hey, thanks for the vote. It's the least I could do. No one cared more out there, and we punished you for it. It's okay, you cared too. I get wanting to protect the ones you care about. I protected my ideas of them, but they're more than that. We all are. You are. I'm really sorry. Smart Alliance? Oh yeah, that's much better. Hey everyone! Sorry to interrupt the fun. I. Um, why? Was it?
thought it over and I think I need to start giving everything an ending. I left an old, slightly intimidating project behind, so I'm heading out a little early. Uh, what? I what? Why? What happened? I mean, I get it, but I don't think this is done. I mean, yeah, where's your prize? Oh, I guess most of you don't know. I don't really have, uh, I, I haven't thought out. Mifon and I are going to figure it out together. Then we'll be done. So until then, let's keep the fun alive! I guess we will. Cabby, I'm sorry. I still haven't- I have some ideas. Sometimes later, a new business company! It was a face-off. Silver had claimed to have the most vile photo of me. I had no choice but to shoot. <gasps> but it missed. Then Silver came running at me full force. No way! You bought the inner flame? She rammed into him and I got a great photo. He was a mess! <laughs> <laughs> Our mess. So, the challenge continued through the night. I don't think I've ever felt this relaxed before. And somebody just came back. The walkie-talkie. But I think she will start apologizing with that. So now, she's never blamed to anybody about shutting it off. But now I felt like it would be the best. Ever consider retiring? Walkie. I'm like a few years old or something. Way older than I am, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, stop it. I mean, I wouldn't even think if Mephone 4 would be retired. But my concept of this art would be Mephone 11 if there is a choice out there. Uh, I don't know if Adam really wanted to do that for my concept art, so... Will this work? Because the newer phone might, might replace... Hey. I appreciate the new home here. I'm finally doing some good- No ready in the library! Oh yeah, no hearing at the library, you know that. Be quiet! Some good work. You too, I guess. Yeah? For a while, I didn't think it was possible, and I'm responsible for a lot more than just these guys. I mean, um, he had a lot of responsible to take all of his efforts, so... I felt like it would be great enough to tell for everybody who was here for. So, I just think that it must be the day that I really appreciate for. So, I really am happy enough to have you all guys who really like this video. And also with this episode, you are all the one of our best. And thank you for pushing up for new subscribers. And hopefully by then, the future will come. I will be able to make one of the object shows right in between because that might be keeping it alive for sure. After my animation, I could try to like make new connections who really love the object shows just for once. And definitely what the career is all about. Definitely do some animation like me, a future animator for successful life. And yes, that's definitely true. But that's all your hard work pays off there be foam for. You do your best to get the job done. Nobody can quit here like you are the best MC of the season. Make it feel good, make them feel proud. I can help them too. You better get to it then. Make some more happy endings. Now you can do this. That is perfect. I feel happy now! Yeah. Good work there, me phone. Bring on the crowd, baby, to life. Watch over them for me. I can do that. And thanks for giving me a another chance. At least all your hard work does it here for Walkie. I wish you a good luck anyway. And for me from four, I mean, it's the best thing ever. <clears throat> okay, where was I? 
And this is where they all keep on reading right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, when the music plays, I guess that is the end. Thank you all so much for tuning us in. And peace out, folks, for a while as the completion of the reaction of the In Anime Insanity Invitational of me with the folks and to everyone, Dial. And I really appreciate to everyone who was here with us. Peace out, folks. And always a bear on the truth. Word up! That's what we do. This is In Anime Insanity Invitational Reaction, signing out. Well, I guess it will be one thing to keep an eye on it, so thank you, everyone. And the title of Cabby for the winning the whole thing. You all are amazing. Please don't forget to subscribe because we are heading back to where we came from, to 2021. Remembering our lifetime of the year. Thank you so much. And if you want to go back to it, I have the playlist here, so you can definitely watch it anytime. No worries. It's for everybody who is here for us. Make a credit today. Thank you all. Animation. Somebody will.